Paul Scholes has opened up on coming out of retirement for Manchester United in 2012, revealing he had to buy a £50 pair of boots to play in, and he knew his football career was finally over when Tottenham duo Gareth Bale and Mousa Dembele ran rings around him. The Old Trafford legend originally called time on his United career in May 2011, but swiftly returned to the fold in January 2012 to save Sir Alex Ferguson's side from a midfield crisis. So secretive was his return that Scholes had to buy a £50 pair of boots to play in on his second debut against Manchester City. Speaking as a pundit for BT Sport after United's FA Cup win over Huddersfield on Saturday, Scholes admitted he should not have carried on the following season and knew his time was up after the Spurs stars ran him ragged in one game. That season, 2011-12, was great, he said on BT Sport. We almost won the league, City obviously won it with Sergio Aguero in the last minute which was disappointing. I really wish I'd stopped then. That was enough really ducked because we got to the next season, the manager gave me another year, I say I was gone the first time, I retired, but this time I was really gone. I remember a game against Tottenham at home, it was only the third, fourth game of the season, I think we got beat at home 3-2. I played all right in possession, but I remember, Mousa, Dembele cruising past me, Gareth Bale, I know they cruise past people, but I remember thinking I just can't do this anymore. I wanted to retire again very early that season, but I just thought I'd look stupid. I had to sort some boots out, so I went down to the local shop and bought a pair of cheap boots for £50 because I hadn't got a sponsor. We couldn't let Nike know because it'd be obvious I was coming back. Scholes had originally come back to coach the club's under-23 team but found himself wanting a return to first-team action after training regularly with the club's reserves. An injury crisis within the first team had robbed Ferguson of his midfield, paving the way for the former England international to return. Ferguson wanted me to come back and originally coach the reserve team with Warren Joyce, and in the September I said I would. More than often I was training every day with the likes of Jesse, Lingard, Paul, Pogba all those kind of players. It was a really good side. I was loving training, getting fit, and it got to December time. The team was struggling a bit, they had a load of injuries and no central midfielders really. I think they ended up playing Phil Jones and Fabio da Silva against, I think it was Blackburn at Old Trafford, and they really struggled. Funnily enough I think that was the end of Pogba that night because he thought he should have been playing instead of them too, but he wasn't doing well enough in the reserve team to warrant a first team chance. I spoke to Gary and Phil Neville to see what they thought about it and Gaz said I should go and see Mick Phelan, assistant manager, so I went to his office and I was nervous about doing it because he may have said no. But I decided, if he said no I would go to play for someone else, because I knew I was coming back. I went to see Mick and he said it was a great idea, so the day after, still nervous, I knocked on his door and said I was thinking of coming back, and he said great straight away, let me ring David Gill and we'll get your contract sorted out. Scholes went on to reveal how Ferguson kept his return a secret right until the moments before kickoff.
After coming on as a substitute, a poor pass from Scholes allowed Sergio Aguero to nip in to make it 3-1 and he instantly questioned what he was doing. He didn't tell the players because I think he just wanted to keep it quiet. Playing City away, and he said just come to the hotel, the Lowry, on the Saturday night before the game on the Sunday and just sit on the staff table, maybe have half a glass of wine and just don't say a word. Then I get to the ground the next day and I know what's going on, so I'm a bit nervous about what the lads are going to think. And then we get in the dressing room and my shirt is up, and I've been named a substitute. I remember we were 3-0 up when I came on against 10 men, and it went to 3-2. I gave the first goal away, and I thought what am I doing here? I remember David Platt was a coach under Roberto Mancini and I'm warming up. And I was about to go on for the last half an hour and Platt said to me, what the hell are you doing? At that time I thought, what am I doing here, but then I gave a bad pass for a throw in, and Aguero nipped in to score, and then they scored again, and you start to panic, and I'm thinking what have I just done?